Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel. Well, if you've been working with Bamboo Studio, then you know that Bamboo Studio has presets based on your selected printer, your selected filament, and your selected settings. Now, what you might not know is that you can create your own presets. Let's say you have a filament that you made yourself or that you bought and that is not in the list, right? Or you have a printer that's not selected or you just have another printer that is in the database somewhere, but it's not set up properly, right? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own presets and save them out for the next time you print, right? Here we go. Okay, everybody, so we're in Bamboo Studio. I'm using the uh, dark user interface. You can change that if you like. Uh, I showed you how to do that in my last video. And that said, let's talk about presets. Okay, so when we're looking at presets, we're looking at uh, the printer choice, the filament choice, and the settings. And if you create your own preset, then you can set it up the way you like. Now, there are two methods. One is to tweak settings based on a printer you already have and that's available in the list, or you can create something completely new. And the way you do that is by making a copy, right? You can't change the actual preset that's in here. You have to make a copy and rename it, right? But first, I'll show you what I mean by preset. If I go to the printer up here and I click on the printer that I have, I have system presets. So based on the printer that I choose, let's go in here and choose a printer. Let's say I choose the X1 uh, carbon with a 0.4 nozzle, then all the presets will be loaded for that printer, right? Okay, uh, now the cool thing is for Bamboo Studio that recently they started to add printers that are not made by Bamboo, as you can see here. Any cubic, uh, what's it called, Crowley, and so forth and so on, right? So there are a bunch of them. So that's the printer choice, okay? A printer and nozzle, I should say. Now, what about filament? Let's say you have very specific requirements for your filaments. Let's say you made your own filament. I don't know, you cut up some Coke bottles, uh, whatever, right? Now, what you do is you pick one of the default filaments here. I mean, you can go in here as before and select the filament you want to use. These are pretty much all filament, I would say, uh, by Bamboo. Uh, I think so. I'm not sure, but there are tons and tons and tons. Uh, but you can pick one of these as your starting point for your preset and then change accordingly. Okay. But if you go in here, you can just take one of these and go to the checkered thingy next to it click on that and then you can go in here and you can change your settings uh, for the filament if you want uh, the flow rate the density uh, that kind of thing uh, the pricing uh, as far as what's going to cost you per kilogram and it will calculate that of course temperatures nozzles all of that right and the cooling properties uh, overrides and there's even an advanced section here where you can uh, put in g-code if you want right Okay, so we talked about printers, we talked about filaments. Well, what about the process, which is critically important, right? Right now, when I select my printer, it comes with this preset and it says uh, 0 0.12 millimeter fine, but I can choose any of these, right? Now, let's say I have a requirement for the model that I'm printing to always have 100% infill, right? And uh, I want super, uh, super fine printing and I have very specific requirements, right? What I can do is I can take one of these settings here and I can just go in and I can change whatever I want. For example, this is a copy, right? Change whatever I want and then go up here and click on the little save current process button. And the same goes for the filaments for the printers, right? So when I change the filament here, I can save that out, give it a new name. When I go up here and I change the printer preset, let's get rid of this, this guy right here, I can do the same, change it and save it, all right? So that's what presets are and that's how you can make your own, right? 
that's what I wanted to share with you guys. And uh, yeah, before you go, um, just one thing, 96% of my viewers are not subscribed, right? So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, you know what to do, right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.